Hey guys, back in paramedic class, I had a few fabulous instructors, but one in particular made the cardiology lectures never seem dull. But either way, today we deep dive into one of the most popular cardiac drugs on the market, amiodarone. So let's get started. Amiodarone is a class three cardiac antidysrhythmic, meaning it works upon the potassium channels of the heart. Make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video where I share a really awesome fact about Ami that even I didn't know until researching for this video. The heart is manipulated by numerous channels, including sodium, calcium, potassium, and beta. Each are paramount to a different point in the cardiac action potential cycle. Potassium is the primary cause of repolarization of the cardiac muscle cells. Blocking the potassium channels will in turn delay repolarization. More on this later in the video. Amiodarone is given in the EMS setting mainly for ventricular dysrhythmias like ventricular fibrillation and ventricular tachycardia, but can also be used in some cases of atrial tachycardias. The goal is not to change these rhythms themselves, but to slow them down enough that the heart's natural pacemaker, the SA node, takes back control of the heart rhythm, changing it back to something less detrimental and deadly. You know what would be incredibly deadly? Not hitting that like button. But in this case, I encourage you guys to do so. This way YouTube will help spread this video to others like yourself. So thank you for that. As we have said, when amiodarone is given, the potassium channel is blocked off. This causes a delay in repolarization. The repolarization still has to occur, but does so in a longer time frame. If repolarization of one heartbeat is taking longer, the next heartbeat cannot begin, thus extending the time between individual heartbeats and decreasing overall heart rate. EMS dosing for AMI may vary depending on local protocols, so be sure to look at what your area might be following. But the most common I've found is 300 milligrams IV push, followed by an additional 150 milligrams IV push for ventricular fibrillation and pulseless VTAC. There is also sometimes a medical control option for an additional 150 milligrams in 100 mLs normal saline infused over 10 minutes for these conditions. For wide complex tachycardias with pulses present and the patient is stable, a big emphasis on stable. Amiodarone is given 150 milligrams in 100 mLs normal saline infused over 10 minutes. If the rhythm is converted, consider amiodarone 150 milligrams in a 100 bag over 10 minutes. There is an additional option to consider that is a repeat dose of this 150 in 100 over 10 minutes. Recall I did mention that at times you can utilize ami for narrow complex tachycardias like supraventricular tachycardia or SVT and or rapid atrial fibrillation or atrial flutter. Cardizem or diltiazem and metoprolol are the first line drugs for these conditions. But I have found med control options for AMI 150 in 100 mLs normal saline infused over 10 minutes. Be mindful that you may see bradycardia and hypotension develop in your patient post administration of AMI. These are direct side effects of the prolonging of the repolarization and must be managed appropriately. Do not give AMI to patients who are already bradycardic or hypotensive, as it will most likely lead to further issues, including cardiac arrest. Guys, thanks for watching so far into this video. It's now time to share with you that something special I promised at the beginning of the video. Prior to researching this video, I knew that AMI was a potassium channel blocker. What I didn't know was that it also has properties that block functions of the sodium, calcium, beta, and alpha channels. Adding the effects of peripheral and coronary vasodilation, negative inotropy or decreasing the force of heart contraction, negative chronotropic or decreasing rate, and decreasing dromotropic effects or decreasing conduction velocity from the SA to the AV nodes. Knowing this now, I have a newfound respect for AMI and how EMS should be utilizing this multifaceted drug in the future. Make sure to check out this great video right here explaining the cardiac tropes. Be safe out there and I'll see you guys in the next video.